Hello everyone. Today's topic for the discussion is in sequential circuits. Now what is exactly a sequential circuit? Previously we have seen that the combinational circuits do work for us in the fashion that when you give the input certainly the, the uh, combination circuits give the output. Now sequential circuits do give the outputs but at the time of giving the outputs it certainly takes some cutting to give the output. So basic sequential circuits are nothing but a combination of circuit with some feedback path between its input and the output terminals. So you can check it out. There is a combination of circuit. It's, it takes the input and it gives the output. Certainly it takes feedback to a feedback circuitry, fed back to a combination of circuitry and this whole together the combination is called as a sequential circuit. Now what is the speciality of the sequential circuit is the primary input that we are giving as an input externally is called as a primary input and the feedback that is appeared which we call it as a secondary input. Now what is it's shown is like the input which we give it as a primary and the feedback which comes from the output side to input is called as a secondary inputs. Now there are basically two types of sequential circuits. Now those are asynchronous and asynchronous one. Now what is synchronous out? Now synchronous sequential circuit. In synchronous, uh, asynchronous sequential circuit, what we have to understand is how the clock input or the common factor which drives the circuit that should be understood very clear, clearly. Now, if we check out with the asynchronous input circuits, it's basically having a circuit in which the clock or a common controlling signal is not given to all the circuits at a time. So any practical logic gate cannot operate instantly as we know that what it means is the time delay of the application at input. Give an input and the output correspondingly it gives is called as a propagation delay. Now for this particular asynchronous circuits or any sequential circuits the propagation delay is like a variable. variable. Uh, so, if you have different number of inputs or different number of gates involved and circuits involved, the delay will be varied accordingly. So, a single sequential circuits are those sequential circuits in which the inputs and outputs do not change at pre-assigned times. There is an inherent delays. The inherent delays are not rigidly controlled by the user. So, what a user has to do is certainly you have to calculate the input delay and then multiply it by number of stages. So if you see that it leads to a certain kind of a problem. So it's kind of like a race around condition is one of the problem. So if you check out with the circuit here, it can be seen that the clock is given as a negative edge trigger clock at the first flip flop in here and the second flip flop gets the output as a clock the input as a clock from the output of the first flip flop so when the output of the first flip flop changes then only the output of the second flip flop will change accordingly and so on when the output of the second flip flop changes it gives the clock to the third flip flop and then only its output will change so the delay will be propagated here on and this these are called as asynchronous working of the sequential circuit likewise if we go ahead and see the synchronous sequential circuits these are synchronous sequential circuits do not get affected so feedback path are instead the memory elements logic gates change their states only at pre-assigned discrete intervals of time this synchronization can be achieved by timing devices called a clock pulse generator that produces a periodic train of clock pulses. So if you check out with the example here, the input is given to 
in individual flip flop as a clock so the clock is been given to the individual input and at a time all the flip flops get the clock and the output is produced whenever there is a change in the input so what we have understood so far is a sequential circuit having two different types one is asynchronous and another one is asynchronous so thank you thank you very much for watching it